Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Caesar 3 and the final assignment and final mission of this playthrough where we are here on Lindum, an extremely dangerous province. Now for today's special theme, it's an extra difficult one, what I'm calling the heretic city or the monotheistic city or the heresy city or whatever you like to call it, where all the gods are unhappy except for one because we still do need temples. And the god I have chosen after much experimentation is Venus because it turns out Venus upset is the real killer. So let's go ahead and get things started though and see what this mission is all about. Our borders to the Far East, the South and the West are secure. The various Germanic tribes threaten the near eastern borders, they've always done, and Rome's legions are committed to that frontier. I have no troops left for the far north or generals to command them. You will secure Britannia once and for all. Build a medium city far to the north, in the province called Lindum. Here, your military prowess will be as important as your governing skills. Your assignment is to build a wall that will keep the Celts and their brethren out of Britannia. Security is your main concern in Lindum, but I also challenge you to achieve high ratings to prove yourself worthy of the next final promotion. If you can do it, I shall turn the Empire itself over to you. I have wanted to retire for some years now, but lacking an heir, I need to find a worthy successor. Prove yourself this one last time, and the ultimate prize is yours. All right, so here we are on Lindum, the northern frontier. 6,000 population, prosperity 50, favor 85, culture 60, peace rating 55, and lots of military. Uh, it's gonna be tough with all the guards except for one unhappy at us, but I have some confidence. So let's go ahead and go to the city. Guys, welcome to Lindum. Ah, uh, okay, okay. The heretic city. Now, we do need one god on our side, but in terms of math, there's a few interesting things. So for example, if we just look at the gods here, we have five gods, right? Venus behaves a little bit differently from the others, where uh, you cannot get a Venus blessing just from keeping her happy, you need a festival because of how the math works out, whereas the others can give you blessings just from uh, uh, just building lots of temples. Uh, so here's the, uh, the curses we're gonna be dealing with. Ceres will wreck our crops by just stopping them from growing. That's the worst that happens. They're not too bad. Neptune will sink ships, which again, not that bad. Maybe a little bit of lost trade. Mercury uh, will burn down warehouses. Now that can be very, very annoying. Mars can make an entire fort no longer working and send invasions after you. But the reason why I choose Venus is because what Venus does is plagues your city. She makes people unhappy, sure, but when she plagues your city, it actually wrecks houses and population. And it's so hard to keep things stabilized if Venus keeps burning your houses down uh, and killing your people and stopping immigration. It's just, it snowballs very, very quickly. So Venus is actually the most dangerous god of all here. And also, because I can't get blessings without throwing festivals for Venus, we're still sort of maintaining the heretic city where we don't rely on blessings. Now, before we start, let's make sure we turn off our salary because we do have savings and I would rather not use savings if at all possible. I'm also gonna immediately drop tax rates and raise wages to eight. Eight above what Rome pays is the max here. And all other rules of this playthrough still apply. So there are four packs of wolves on this map, which we are not allowed to wall in. And we have to get through the immigration glitch without, uh, without lowering difficulties. So here's what I'm gonna do to start. I'm actually gonna use wells to wall off this entire area here. 
because we want to keep the wolves out and in case you wonder why wells are not walls, wells are cheaper. They're just five per tile, walls are more expensive than that. So we need a safe spot to start our exports and also get to our first starting population. Okay, step at a time, step at a time. Okay, so now I'm going to create a little bit of an area here. And I think, uh, yeah, it's not too far, it's not too far. I'm going to clear these trees here because for trade, you can see there's two water trade routes, furniture and iron and weapons there. And then land trade routes are clay and pottery there and a bit of meat there. So we want to try max our exports. We want to try max our exports. Uh, so one thing we need is we need a little area for furniture. So I'm going to do a little sort of wedge right here. And we're just going to have a road come along here and prep for the dock to be there. Now, starting out, I am going to break this open just to speed things along. We're going to have a house here. We need seven houses. Uh, and I'm just going to spread them out a little bit. So some there, some there. That should stabilize things. So that's two. And then we'll have three, four five, six, seven. And with wells, this should bring us to just under 200 population. Uh, so I'm not going to build any temples at all right now because we're not going to rely on blessings. We're going to need two engineer posts, which I'm just going to spread out a little bit like this. And we can immediately start on... I think I will start looking at prices. The difference between furniture and pottery is just 10. And opening the trade route for pottery is going to be cheaper. And we don't need the dock. And we could actually sell clay as well. So, with that population coming in, I'm going to start with raw materials. Clay pit, which can go along here. No problem. I'm gonna do three. Um, uh, I think two. I think two. And we go straight into pottery for one, two, three, four. And we're gonna need a warehouse. Now, all warehouses need to make sure they're not touching anything because. Because. I will let clay sit in there, by the way. Mercury could burn down warehouses, okay? Okay, so let's get these people moved in. Oh, also, before I forget, we need military going immediately. So I'm going to set down the barracks right here. Yes, and I'm gonna build one javelin fort right here so that we can start wiping out the wolves. Okay. Now we get people moving in. Okay, and we make sure all of the houses evolve. So we might need to drop a garden here and there. If desirability doesn't get up. And here, I think we're gonna need some gardens. Okay, maybe a garden there. Those evolved. Those evolved. Okay, okay. Military's coming in. See this well wall keeping the wolves out? Okay. Now, oh, that's not connected. Does this engineers? Oh no, it doesn't quite reach. Okay, so we're gonna do that. All houses have evolved. This should bring us to 196 population. Let us prioritize engineering. Uh, no, water services, engineering, governance and religion, health and education military and then the rest yes in that order okay more people should be moving in there's plenty of room to keep things going 
So we can then produce furniture and set a warehouse right here. And then sell that from the water trade route. Okay, okay. Pottery is going to start coming in here. Poor access to employees. I just realized it's not entirely stable if these guys walk that way, but I think it should be stable enough with those houses. Okay, warehouse is online. Troops coming in. I don't want to move out until we have a full legion here. And then we're going to immediately start training up a second legion of javelins. Okay, okay. Also, in this mission, we're going to be seeing the severe curses from the gods. The severe curses from the gods, which I have personally never really seen before my attempt to do this. Okay. So, we actually have a little bit of unemployment, which is good. Which probably means I can actually support another clay pit. So, we can get a surplus of clay and sell that as well to the same trade route. Clay is not worth much, but it's better than nothing, so might as well. Uh, let me just check here. Show prices, sellers receive on clay, 30. Okay, that's better than nothing, sure. That should also drop us to requiring six employees, which is not so bad. Some pottery is coming in, okay. And it's June, July. Once it hits May, then we can start figuring, figuring out how to... Um, Let's open this trade route. Figur figuring out how to get past the immigration glitch. Export, export. I could actually do some, some controlled play within this forest area. By using this forest as a controlled maze, we might be able to just get through the immigration glitch within a small area, which would be an interesting challenge. Traders are coming in. Okay, so we're already starting our exports. And you see we're at 196. In case you don't know, the immigration glitch is when we cross 200 people, no matter what we do, people are upset and they move out. So it's a glitch on very hard. Almost got a full legion here. It's August now. Okay, so now I'm going to slow down. And this is what I'm going to try do to make sure this actually works. I'm actually going to... Do this. I'm gonna save the game right here in case something goes wrong. Save that. And I'm going to block this with a well. And I am now going to just... Should I draw another block? I think I should just draw another block here. I'm gonna draw a nice rectangle. Not of any particular size or anything. And I'm going to fill this with houses. Just like this. This should be enough. But I'm always a little bit concerned. Uh, no, actually that should be enough. Now immigrants are going to start coming in here. And I'm going to control out. Let's be careful here not to block this off too soon. Okay, leave that open. And I'm going to control and trap all the immigrants in this area. Until they're all just hanging out here and move them all in at once. Okay, okay. <laughs> Pottery is going to come in. Once people start moving in... Where's the immigrants? Here they come. Greetings. I'm new to this place. Do you know anywhere to live? Okay, okay. So usually I use some distance to get this going, but with a little bit of micro, we'll be able to do it. We'll be able to do it. We just have to keep an eye on this very, very closely. So once they reach up here, I open this and close that off. Ooh, actually that's a little bit of a risk because new ones spawning might just come through there. I'm gonna need another safer opening. 
and just keep an eye on who the last immigrant was. Okay, here they come, here they come. So I think I will open up that, so they turn around and head there instead. Then maybe send them back up that way. That makes more sense. Okay, let's be careful here. Let's slow the game down. We're gonna... Okay. That immigrant there. We're gonna open this. We're gonna block that. Now keep an eye, this immigrant should be the last one. So those guys now have to turn around. Okay. This is a little tricky because these guys are now gonna just turn right in there. If I understand this correctly. So they're gonna turn around. And I'm now gonna have to slow the game down again. Can I bust that open and then I block here yes okay that's the last one there so those guys now have to turn around ah damn this guy's gonna come this way hold on let me think let me think we gotta do a little bit of micro here Okay, so we definitely have to block those guys and send everyone another direction. How do I trap them? How do I trap them? Hmm, hmm. I'm <laughs> <laughs> this immigration glitch is a bit of a problem. But I should be able to... I mean, this is a lot of immigrants together. Can I just... Ooh, is it safe to open this up already? I suppose it should be. We have enough javelineers. So I'm now gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. And I'm actually gonna put another save right here. This is what I'm gonna do. Uh, oh, I guess I have to bust this open. And block that. And we need to kill some wolves. No, 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 come on, come on. Okay. So now these guys have to turn around here. Come on, kill the wolves. Those guys are gonna go around there. And I think... Now I bust that open, and I bust this open, and all the immigrants should start flowing in roughly at the same time. And we're gonna see if this works. We're gonna see if this works. <laughs> Here they come. And then I can drop a bunch of immigrants coming in right here. Okay, and here they come. And we clear off one group of wolves. And they're moving in, there we go, we crossed 200 people. 
These guys start moving in as well, that's great. Oh, more wolves coming in. We should be able to beat this. Okay, there's the people disgruntled. We need to hit 300 people. Which I think we should be able to do. Yes, 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 we can. Look at that. We actually dealt with that. And I'm also going to go ahead and put down a second javelin fort. That's the people moving out. Okay, okay. It worked. Can you guys believe it? It worked. I know it doesn't look like it's working, but I'm now going to put down another javelin fort right here. Because that's where I want most of my troops to be. We're going to try wipe out another pack of wolves here. And we can now start busting down these unnecessary well walls. We'll keep things a little blocked for now. Oh, they ran away. Okay. So we're over 300 people. It says God's unhappy. Okay, so the one God we are allowed to keep happy is Venus. So you guys can have a temple to Venus. Okay, while well we train up a second legion of that, people have moved in, so our employment should be fine. We're gonna go ahead and put down... Uh, we need one, two, three. Three, I think. Workshops, furniture. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Six of those. Clearing off another one of those. Put down a warehouse right here. Set this to accepting just furniture. Okay. People are indifferent to you. Fantastic. We're past the immigration glitch. Employees needed. Did I really build that much? Okay. More people can move in now though. Okay. So that should be quite a few wolves taken out. I don't think I've done four packs though, right? Wait, where? Where is that? Oh, there. Okay. They're sitting right there. So I'm just gonna... All right, we're in debt. <laughs> get a bit, get a bit. Try to make these new funds last longer. Okay. So I'm gonna block that off again so I can control where the javelins are going. Uh, we need to get these javelins dealing with these wolves. Which way are they running? Are they stopping here? Okay, we're gonna try kill those wolves, and also, to make things a little bit easier on me, I will throw one festival to Mercury, and possibly one to Mars, just so we don't absolutely die right from the start. So, we're not allowed to build any temples to anyone but Venus, unless we're evolving houses. So I'm gonna throw a large festival to Mercury, but he will eventually become very upset. Is this two packs of wolves? It's two packs of wolves. Stop killing the immigrants. Come on. Good thing we're past the immigration glitch already. Okay, kill these guys, please. How did... Okay, kill you, please. Then we have a few more wolves here to deal with. And that should, unless they're respawning, which I hope they're not, that should be the last of the wolves. Okay. 
Furniture should be coming in. We can prep a dock. I will set a house there to keep things mitigated. Oh, really? You guys got so demoralized that... Really? <laughs> the wolves wiped out my first javelin fort. Okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine. Money has come in. So I need to start prepping for the invasion locations. So I... This is a bit of foreknowledge. I know where the invasion locations are. Rats have been discovered. Citizens' health have suffered. Okay. What is our citizens' health? City health is terrible. Damn. Uh, doctor. I forgot about city health. We need to try keep people a little bit healthy here. Uh, you guys stand that way. City's population has reached 500. The gods are going to be very... They're getting wrathful here. Okay, and other invasion locations. Oh no, they're respawning. There's one right here. So I'm going to prep for this by... Yeah, we can't build too close. I'm going to do there. There is also an invasion location here. Which I will give it a bit of space to do that. And then a bit of space along here. I'm just drawing these roads so I know where, where everything is going to be. Okay, so these are the invasion locations. Can we wipe out the wolves yet? There's one left there. Okay. <laughs> so now I need to go all out on making money. Come on, kill the wolf. Another wolf is coming here. Where's he going? Okay, no problem. I actually don't need this many people anyway. Let's clear off all of this. We're already past the immigration glitch. Please kill that wolf. Please, please kill the wolf. Okay. Are the wolves wiped out? No. Legion's morale is too low to respond. Okay, is that the last wolf on this map? Okay, it is the last surviving pack. It is the last surviving pack. Furniture is gonna start coming in quite handily, then we can start selling that. Some of those houses burnt. Okay, but health should be coming back online. Mercury's very angry. When's that festival coming in? Okay, okay. Inspired by Mars, damn. It's already coming in. They're terrified? Please kill the wolves. And I still can't control these guys? Come on, why are the wolves so powerful? Okay, okay. Let's at least try clear off the wolves. Okay. You guys temporarily return to fort. How is your morale? Shaken? Okay, actually, here's what we can do. We can do a little bit of a uh, play here. To try and funnel and control how this experience goes. So you can see the gods are already gonna start wrecking us. You can see the gods are already gonna start wrecking us. Oh, they stopped. 
shoot them a little bit. Okay, got one. You might not have any morale. Oh, can we not shoot them when they're on the fort? Oh no, we just ran out of morale. They're running back. Come on, please, please win this. Did you kill no one? Really? Did we kill enough? Did we kill enough? I don't know. Please turn around. We didn't kill enough. We didn't kill enough. Okay, wait. No, we have a load. We have a load. Okay, it was right here, right? What did I do again? Let's try speed through this a little bit. I think we're gonna be fine. Let's just do this, okay? If I just do this and wait for a second fort here. If I speed this along, do we get past the immigration glitch? Okay, I think I over microed a little bit. Let's bust this open. Okay, let's just really quickly get back to where we were. One, two, three. Workshop furniture. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This is, by the way, the toughest challenge I have ever done. Okay. Instead, I think I throw the festival to Mars first. Let's make it a rule that we can only throw one festival to buy us some time right at the start. Let's build that. Let's go doctor, doctor. Doctor, okay. Let's try deal with these wolves. Let's make sure they don't walk through here. Can you guys shoot? Okay, there we go. So they're all gonna start funneling into here. Jeez. That's not so good. Really? Really? The wolves? The wolves ganged up. Why do they have tactics? Why do they have tactics? Okay, no, never mind that. Just bust this open. I think I need to get two forts going inside here right that makes sense get out of the way all right also i'm just gonna preemptively do that do that warehouse you are furniture so that first mars curse already sort of wrecked us so i think we do that not for a blessing but at least for avoid the first curse okay everyone's moving in fort javelin so we need two javelin forts there's just too many there's too many wolves okay get past the immigration glitch people are indifferent to you fantastic doc Shot by 65 employees, more are gonna be moving in here. Let's train up more people, and I can now go back to prepping the walls here. So we need one there. One, two, we need one here. We need one here. We'll keep that aligned. And we need one here. Okay. So I'll need to do some barracks shifting around. Let's wait for two forts of javelins. And I will build a temple to Venus. 
just to keep that god happy. And I will throw a festival to Mercury. So I'm gonna throw two festivals at the start, but I'm gonna try keep it to just one festival to each god. Why not train in an academy? Because that's really expensive and we need towers. I'm not relying on troops so much on this mission because Mars curses will wreck my troops. I just threw that festival to keep him off our backs for a little while. Okay, priorities are set, yes. Okay, we have enough employees, okay. So, how are our sales? I could always have more platelets, I think. Rats, okay. That hurts our... We are selling clay as well, right? Yeah. Is furniture coming in? Should be soon. Okay, we have some decent looking troops. I'm just gonna wait till we have a few more. Why? Okay, Mercury stole some stuff. Why is our health so bad? I did build all those clinics first, but... I'm gonna need these people to move in. Population is 600. How are the gods feeling? Okay, Mars might curse us very soon. So we have to deal with these wolves sorta now. These guys will sit on the back. Okay. Let's wipe one group out. And also, now I can start prepping the towers which I will need a house at each. Okay. That's one group of wolves down. There's a festival, there's a curse from Neptune, okay. Stop running away. Oh. These wolves have special tactics. Look at that, look at that. Look at this. Special Tactics Wolves. Okay. Mars is coming in, okay. From there. So we have a slightly better force here. Which I guess we just have to go deal with them. There is a final wolf pack right there. Which <laughs> is gonna be difficult. Seems like a festival to Mars only bought so much time. Now we kind of have to just face these guys head on, right? Really? Where'd they go? Where did the wolves go? The wolves are fighting my troops in the fort. Could we kill enough of these guys? Really? Really? Oh, this first Mara's curse really wrecks us. Well, if they come for our troops... The building collapsed? Oh, right. Jeez, okay. We have to wait for the first Mara's curse before we can do anything, it seems. 
All right, all of you guys move in. We're just gonna spam some doctors here. Okay, we do need an engineer's post because we forgot that just now. You guys start moving in. Okay. That first Mars curse. I don't know why it's so difficult. Uh, temple, Venus. Uh, just have two of those set up. Workshop, furniture. One, two, four, five, six. Fort. You know, maybe I just need the military academy. Maybe that is a thing I just need. We will train our javelins. And get a second javelin fort going. Okay, get past the immigration glitch. Are these guys military trained? Yes, okay, just in time. We need to train our soldiers so they can kill the wolves. Now, since that first Mars curse has to come in anyway... Can I set this to accepting furniture? There we go. That's still clay and pottery. Waiting for employees, train up this, rats have been discovered, that affects health, some people might die, yep. Need more houses coming down there and there. One house burned there, shot by four employees, okay, everything should be coming in here. We're gonna need a dock right there, 5% unemployment, we can get another clay pit right there. There's that. So with academy trained javelins, we should do a little bit better. And I'm gonna wait for two full forts here. And we can open that trade route to sell furniture. This should work a little bit better. Is that, yeah, that opened up wine. Turn that off. Place those houses. Clear that. How is city health? It's average, okay. Build fountains. You know, it's the rats that were kind of the problem. Let's sell some furniture. And there we go, almost full on... Mercury has spirited away some goods, so we keep the goods low. I now bust this open and put a third javelin fort down, which I want to be here. So I can keep training troops on the back of this. Why don't these on... They, you can't shoot through forts, it seems. Don't just run through. Kill them all. Look at these wolves. Look at these wolves. Move the barracks and build towers. That's a good point. We need to start the towers. It's sort of important that I start this one first. That's not going to debt quite yet. Okay, more wolves coming. Okay, academy trained javelineers, a little bit better, it seems. Okay, where's the another group there? Are you not full? Yeah, you return to four. You stock up. So this should be the last group here. So I'm gonna start house there, and let's get the space for towers going. I'm gonna need house here. Uh, we're gonna need one, two, towers there. Line that up. Houses there. And then we're gonna need towers here. It's quite low down, the invasion point. Uh, you guys, move up. So we have a fine Javelin fought on the back of this to deal with the Mars curse. Okay. Series destroys your crops.
Now, that should be the final wolf pack. We really needed the troops academy trained, huh? Okay. Return to fort. So, the wolves should now be dead. Save the game. Okay, okay. Now, continue prepping for where all of this is gonna go. Now, this is the main sort of invasion point. So, I need to sort of prep for that. If I do this, this... That, that, oh, we need a house here as well, okay, so we are going to be selling furniture and pottery, okay, these are going to start wrecking us very soon, so now we just need as much money as possible, so that we can start setting up our proper defenses. The Mars curses are going to be a little annoying, but there's no in proper invasions on the way yet. So we got some time. So we got some time. How is health looking? City health is good. Okay. With Venus on our side, things should be fine. Mars is going to curse us again, which might actually scare away a fort of javelins. We're selling some furniture, that's good. How much can we sell a year? 15, no, 25. We can sell 25. I think I should slightly overproduce it then. Okay, employment, no employment problems. So we're gonna need a few more houses on the back of that. Okay, the ship was wrecked, but we already sold stuff. Haha, <laughs> jokes on you, Neptune. Employees needed, no problem, okay. Oh. So now, I need to set up, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll put the gatehouse right there. Because this is where things will really start going down. I think I also need a gatehouse here as well. One, two, three, four. I see the problem with that. I'm actually going to shift this road. Because that's going to cause some problems later on. See, one trick with... Uh, with invasions... Is that the sentries that patrol the walls tend to uh, aggro the enemy troops, whereas towers do not. So you want as many towers as possible without the sentries so that the enemy just sits there and takes the ballista shots. Now let's clear off all of that. I know that's not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. Traders coming in. Okay, it is January, so everything is for sale. Very good. More furniture is going to come in. I'm not sure. Does the Neptune curse keep boats away? Yeah, no sailor will dare sail your, near your city for months. Okay, that just allows furniture to stockpile again. So that's fine. Please buy some stuff. Okay. So now, what we can do is we can start walling up things here. Uh, oh, inspired by Mars. Where are they coming from? This side? Okay. Not a problem. We have troops ready for this. They're a little bit far, but it should be okay. See, all of these invasions can eventually be automated. I'm gonna start the towers here. With those four right there. And I'm gonna move the barracks to here. So that we can get that going. 
So these Mars invasions, we're just gonna try deal with our javelins. Please don't move yet. <laughs> I don't need gatehouses when surrounding the invasion points. Um, it's in case I want to um, use these javelins for defenses. Okay, these are academy trained javelins. Two forts should be able to deal with this no problem. Okay, go home. Go home. We'll get these towers online. You know, I know some of the uh, future invasions are going to be particularly large, so you do want to make sure you still have some troops available to do things. So I need to completely wall this off and tower it up without sentries. So, I'm just gonna... The wall will go until there. Can I afford doing this? Not yet. It's okay. 120? Okay. So I need to completely, well, not completely, but up until like there, I guess. So I think I will actually stop the towers at that point. I won't build towers there. So these sentries, these guys, I'm not sure if I can click on that guy. Sentry, these guys, they aggro the enemy, so we do not want them. Big curses are now coming in. Okay. Okay. So now we just... We got a par as well. I just save the game right there. I think we're doing well so far. Lots of furniture. But I don't know when the next boat is going to come in. The next boat that comes in and buys all this furniture, it's going to set us up for another set of towers. Mercury is gonna start burning my warehouses soon. So I think to mitigate that, I start shifting any more furniture into here. And what I do is I set this to... Actually, what I might be able to do is if I set a warehouse here, set to getting some goods. We might be able to trick Mercury into burning down a decoy warehouse. Because if Mercury burns this furniture warehouse, we might be a little screwed for money. Okay, out of debt. It's, uh, how are our sales? I mean, I could also start trying to sell... They buy the clay first. The boats are never gonna come in. <laughs> you know, perhaps I haven't thrown a festival to Neptune. Let's just throw a festival to Neptune. That's a par, don't worry. Okay. I think there can only be one curse a month. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, I'm just gonna set this to getting furniture as well. To spread out where the furniture is. Look at that. Smart. <laughs> ah. Build two warehouses, set both to accept pottery. Ah, here comes the mercury. Which one do you think you burnt down? Oh, we burnt that one down. Okay. So a little unlucky there, but we're still producing plenty of furniture. But we're gonna need another warehouse. Set to accepting pottery and clay. Okay. So people idolize me. So at this point, I think I can drop wages. I did turn off my own salary, right? Yes, I turned off my own salary. What was that? Employees needed, really. 
Right, all those towers. Okay, so this looks pretty bad, but uh, it's actually not as bad as you think it would be. Set that to getting furniture. Then we can spread out the furniture between these two warehouses, keep some over there. Maybe Mercury might burn that one down. So yeah, just hold on to, to some furniture there. Is an invasion on the way? Not yet. So we're actually still doing okay. So maybe a festival to Neptune will keep... Here's the big Mars invasions. Well, not invasions, but the curses. Ah. He sends an invasion and sort of banishes some of my troops for a short time. Luckily, his invasions are still relatively small. So see, these troops, they're just gone for a while. They're just gone. You can see they're cursed by Mars. I don't actually know if they come back. I don't know if they come back. They just sort of scatter everywhere. Okay. Luckily, lead, uh, javelins run very fast. Okay. This can deal with that. Oh, we actually got out of debt at some point? Okay. So I send these guys back. Continue training between these three forts here. This warehouse burned down. Replace that. Set this to accepting pottery and clay as well. It should split things up a little bit. Okay, okay. Furniture has stockpiled. I don't know if Neptune's gonna curse me again. Neptune's very angry. Okay. So now we just need money. We just need money because we can't really move on with our tower building, which is kind of important. There's that Mercury curse again. Which one? That one. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. There's some money coming in. How's our employment? 5% unemployment. Okay. This is why we need the warehouses not touching anything. We just need a trade boat to come in. Okay, here comes a trade boat. Yes, yes. Please buy some furniture. There's the money. Okay, towers. Series. Okay. I'm gonna go into debt for this. That's what I want. So there will be sentries there. But that shouldn't aggro them because they should all be over here anyway. Okay, so we're gonna get that going. This road can be one shorter for efficiency. Employees needed, okay. Let's just bring in... Remember not to touch the warehouse. We can replace this warehouse. Back to accepting... I probably don't need to do warehouse controls, right? Because we're just sort of spreading things around anyway. Okay, we're selling a lot of furniture. So this is the main invasion point. So I really want to sort of handle that first. Oh, look at that. The troops don't come back. So it really isn't worth building more than three forts because... Um, Mars will just keep clearing some out. Alexander Alex says this is hilarious to watch. It's it's a special challenge, isn't it? Another successful okay, plenty of money coming in. So I can now prep this. Oh, that's uh. We don't need that. We can do this. Towers. This will be the next bit. Hmm. 
gonna move this so I can move this. Not have a wall there. Instead, I'll have an awkwardly placed tower here to continue. Mars, okay. From where? Here again? Okay, let me just prep that so that I can actually continue walling that off. You guys... So one javelin fort should... Oh, he cursed that one, right. So we've only got one anyway. So you can see how this is going to become a problem eventually. He cursed that one. So we've, we're down to one javelin fort. Are all these towers functioning? Not quite yet. Okay, let's just fight this. Ah. Oh. What about replacing the fort? That costs a thousand. I'd rather put that into... Who's gonna win this? Who's gonna win this? Who wins? Come on. Come on. Battle of the century. Indigenous people. Neptune curses. Okay. Oh! It's from here! Okay. That's dealt with. Oh, he won! Oh, come on! Long Fu the Mysterious, congratulations, you won. But this is auto-dealt with. Look at that. This is why we need the towers set up. Okay, is this gonna... man that tower? Okay, that's now manned, so we can now move the barracks to here to man these towers. Then, uh... A lot of Mars curses are coming from there, but I know they can come from here as well. So I don't know which one I should wall off first. But let's, uh... Let's get this going. Um... So I'm gonna need to wall here. I'm gonna do something there. So we'll wall off the whole thing like that. And I know the invasion is a little lower than expected, but let's get these towers running. How's our employment? Short by 48. Okay. The gods couldn't really get more unhappy, so just you guys move on in. Uh, let us make sure Venus at least is happy. Venus is happy. Okay, Mercury's probably going to curse us next. How's our stuff looking. It's all sort of mixed around here. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. I have a sentry on the wall. Yeah, I know there's sentries over here. Go away, series. But uh, that's not so bad, because those spawns there, not so bad. The main spawns are here. So the sentries can't really reach them, but when I have money, I'll probably just shift the wall over that side. Thousand people. The gods are gonna be super unhappy. So we are training. So the barracks can't train troops when they're filling ballista. There is an invasion that's gonna be on the way though, but I'm pretty sure that number of towers can deal with it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wells for this big block? Maybe I should. Do I need more people? You know, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Our people do not need water. So once we make some more money, I'll be able to wall off one more side. Because the main invasions all come from here. So these other sides, we only need, I think, at most six towers to deal with the invasions. I think five is actually sufficient. <laughs> but I don't know if a trade boat will ever come in because Neptune is just constantly going to be unhappy. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Let's get these towers filled up. We've got some money in. Okay, that tower is now filled. Yeah, let's wait for some troops to spawn. Come on, spawn some troops. Training troops takes so long in this game. 
There's that vegetable request. Ah. Well, 15 vegetables. Okay, okay. Boats might just never come in. But what we can do is just do this. Farm vegetables. Let's see if we can get that going. <laughs> uh, we've got one javelin. Okay, that's fine for now. Let's move the barracks over to here. And we can start with some towers. Um, wait, let me count this properly. To make sure eventually it'll be correct. So, to be safe, I probably should get six towers. And that should deal with any Mars invasion from that side. This side is fully protected though, so we should be fine from that first invasion. Was that employees needed? Okay. Employees needed, let's just well things up a bit. Is, is desirability really that bad? Well, you guys can have another Venus Temple. Okay. Burnt down that one. Okay. Shot by 45 employees. Okay. Bring in some more people there. We'll get these towers going. If Mars sends another curse our way, please don't spawn here. For was it? A third time? A fourth time? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. More people moving in. Shot by 47, not so bad. We are still selling pottery. Land trade routes are just sort of better in this. How much is it to open up that meat trade route? 400 buys one shield of meat. Can I actually get away with something here. Farm. Pigs. Yeah, just store it in there as well. It's a land trade route so we don't have to rely on Neptune. Why does Mercury know exactly which... Uh, Mercury's not burning down this one. How does Mercury know? How does he know? Okay, definitely need to wall off this. Rats, okay. Series wrecking crops. Just wall off here, I think. To make sure they don't run that way. Last tower's almost down. So if anything, they should run this way. But the towers should be able to deal with them beforehand. <laughs> Let's replace this. I don't have to set it, right? Yeah, I don't have to set it to anything. It's fine, it's fine. No employment problems, that's great. Okay. We're gonna be out of troops. Please, please be in a safe spot. Oh, come on. So we have three javelins here. Okay. We're gonna need to do some micro. We're gonna need to do some micro. It's a random location, by the way. What is it, like three, four times? Just this side? Yeah. Go right there. Mm. I played the odds, yeah. Okay, come on. Come on.
Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. You can't do that. Come here. Die. What is this convenient burning of my city? Is health really that bad? Oh, it's because rats were found, right? Okay. <sighs> okay, those towers are functioning though. Um, by the way, can does anyone know if these towers lose their ballista if they become, like, no employees? Well, I guess the next Mars invasion is going to come from here, so we better prep for that. Let's just, yeah, I'm just going to wall like that. Okay, okay, no worries. Disease is over. Let's get rid of the wreckage. Your houses near the tower also need doctors, that's why they're burned. As far as I know, doctor coverage doesn't matter in this game. Unless I'm wrong. But doctor coverage shouldn't matter. But just in case, I'm gonna do this. Since I spammed up some... ...doctors anyway. Oh wait, should leave one there. How's employment? Shot by 35. Okay. We're training up some troops here. Is it going evenly between the two? Because that would be ideal. Okay, we got some money in. Gonna wall this up. So that we can prep for some towers here. So we need five towers there, at least. Well, six towers to be safe. I think I'm going to need another vegetable farm because I don't think that's actually going to hit. 28 months to comply. It might actually hit. It might actually hit. Okay. Now I can move the barracks. Come back over here. Come back over here. Um, tower. So it always comes from there, right? One... Two, three, four, five, six. And now we should be safe. Well, once those towers are filled, we should be safe from Mars invasions. We should be. We should be. Seems like Mercury always burns that one now. Okay. If there are no doctors, your houses near towers won't have access to them. A lot of things in this game do not care about access. This is not Pharaoh. <laughs> and Pharaoh has that weird thing where some things need access and some things don't. But hopefully the, the spread of doctors should deal with that. Really? Is that an issue? Get more people moved in here. Okay. Those towers are not activated yet. Oh. Guys. Guys, it's from the right location. <laughs> now these towers will be able to handle it, but just in case, get over here. Right? Come on, fire another volley and it should deal with things. 
Oh, they dodged. That's not fair. Come on. Come on, hit them. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Return to fort. Okay. We are now safe against Mars curses for the most part. To be safe, I will just put one more tower right here. Since I can't afford it right now. Come on. Sentry in the way. Okay. So seven towers here. These towers are all set up here. Those towers are set up there. I might want to come back here and place another one down. But I'm not too sure if that's required. I need to wall off this. Actually, maybe I don't want to wall off this. Maybe I want to wall off this side. So if they run, they run through this way. Which is closer to those towers. Play a bit of a maze game. That might actually work a little bit better. Ah. So it's like they are billions now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're playing they are billions. It is so unfortunate that that warehouse there is the one that is short on employees. Because we can't store our... Does that get it working? I need this functioning. The furniture's all just sat there. Not that a boat is ever gonna make it through Neptune, but... We're just short by 13 employees and this warehouse was short by two, so nothing could be stored there. It's not fair. Okay, but those towers are coming on down, okay. Uh... Oh, agriculture was never prioritized, so that's been missing workers, I think? Vegetables are coming in for that first Caesar request. Let's just save right here. Okay, so this is the best this has ever gone for me. This is the best it has ever gone for me, just so you guys know. Okay, all of that's doing fine, you know. You guys can evolve too. Let's just bring in a few more people. So some meat is coming in, which I probably want to boost up a little bit. If I just clear that off, build a road there, I could actually fit a second pig farm. Oh wait, no, no, it can't go there. That warehouse might burn down. Get rid of that. Hey, a boat actually made it. Um, okay. Farm. Pigs. Right there. Okay. Does it count? Does it count? It counts! You bought some furniture! Haha! -ha, Neptune! <laughs> sold three furniture. Look at this. Three furniture sold. Screw you, Neptune. Okay, okay. Um, we're gonna sell some stuff here. So I'm just gonna open this trade route and just sell the meat. Because every little bit helps when I'm doing this. Export goods over zero units, yes. Because it's not worth a lot. 36. But we can sell... We can sell 15 units a year. And that's still better than nothing. I don't even know if we're maxing out on pottery sales. I think not. We can sell 25 a year. So I probably want to go another clay pit and another couple pottery workshops. If I can figure out. Yeah. Right? So that should max out our pottery exports, which I can't believe we haven't done before. It seems like if I put furniture in here... Mercury burns this down. So I think Mercury is burning the... Oh, the first real invasion! Mercury burns down the warehouse that is most filled. And Dr. Kill Patient just dropped 200 bits, thank you so much. Let's deal with this. Is this the first real invasion? 
It is, it is, okay. Towers should do fine on this. It shouldn't be that big. Look at all these towers. Obliterated. Come on, send your next wave. That tower can reach. Okay. Third group. Third group. So as they scoot on over that way, these towers start shooting. So see, those sentries don't matter. Oh, they're coming in with chariots already? Okay, okay. Scared away. This game is now like they are billions. Okay. Decimated. Obliterated. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Yes. First invasion dealt with. Our city looks like absolute garbage, but these towers are gonna help so much keep things at bay. These invasions do get larger, but we need we need these towers all set up. And with a bit of money there, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna wall right here. So if they do try to run around, they run around this way, which I will then try to make them run past these towers. So if they run through, they run here, a little bit of tower defense, these towers should help fix them up a little bit. Okay, but main invasion is going to be here. I actually would kind of like a second row of towers. I'm not sure if towers can shoot over towers and a road, but we might want to try that. I just noticed there's no sentries. Oh, there are sentries here. Okay, okay. All right, so heretic city going well, surprisingly enough. All right, that's going to be the end of part one for the heretic city, also known as the monotheistic city in Caesar 3 here on Lindum, the final military mission. It was a very, very rough start setting up, but from here on out, we're gonna need to just make sure we're safe from military and that somehow we make enough money to keep things going. But now that all the towers are set up, we should be fine. All right, so if you're feeling like seeing more, do click the button on the screen right now to see part two. And make sure you check the full playlist for the entire playthrough as this is the final mission and we've got 20 missions in this playthrough. All right, that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.